about that time. Let's go ahead and show y'all what we got going on. All right, man, we got the 79 Buick, the big body Miss Daisy, this long boat. I went over this bump, like I said, bounced all the way in here. This thing is so smooth. Anyways, let's dive into it. Uh, we had about 15 dents right here. Sanded it down with some 80 grit. Now, real quick, I will have a lot more how-to videos. Y'all just stay tuned. Y'all bear with me. My apologies. I'm trying to get caught up on a lot of things. Um, and then we'll talk about uh, how to how to lay primer, how to lay sealer, um, how to lay paint, mixing ratios, how to pull out dents, how to bondo, how to glaze, all that good stuff. We're going to dive into all of that. Y'all just bear with me. But uh, with this process, I uh, had about 15 dents on the hood, hit it down with some 80 grit, uh, wiped it with the bondo, blocked it out with some 80 grit, chased it with like some 120, and then we went ahead and primed it. And then I blocked that and then sealed it. So now we're ready to go. Um, yeah, walk around it, door gems as well, ready to spray. Everything's been blown down, but I, I'm gonna have to probably re-blow. God, I hate dust. Man, anyways. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much ready to go. Two dents back here. Everything else was just bare metal showing. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at how the paint look. Let's go look at what we got going on in the laboratory. Got the cutlass outside. Come on over here. We got the olive green. We're gonna be spraying this bad boy with olive green. Uh, I think this was the Omni Omni brand, I believe. Forgive me if I'm saying that all wrong. Um, so what we'll do is just lay that base down. We hit it probably about two coats, and then we'll put the pearl in it. Now this is binder, binder or mid coat. Uh, yeah, we'll put the pearl inside the mid coat. Now this is very 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 optional. You don't have to go out and buy a binder. Um, it's just a layer that sits in between the base coat, the binder, then the clear coat. So it's a layer that sits in between the base coat and the clear coat. Um, like I said, this is optional because you can actually put this pearl inside the clear coat. So if you didn't, if you couldn't find the binder or if you just didn't want to do that extra step, which I really don't, but, um, you could just slap it in the clear coat. It's not a huge difference. Now as a painter, I'd probably be able to tell the difference whether or not you've had it in the clear coat or just uh, on top of, I mean, uh, in, in the clear coat or if you had it in the binder. Um, just cause I, I've, I've noticed the difference. It, it kinda, I feel like it kinda pops a little bit more when you do it this way. Um, it, you see that, you see that pearl actually bounce. But yeah, so the guns that we're gonna be using is, I got a DB1, the Velvet uh, base coat gun. I'm gonna probably spray it about 16 to 18. Well, in between 13 to 18 PSI. Um, like I said, base coat gun, love it. I'm not changing that gun for nothing, uh, for my, you know, that's the base coat. Uh, and then the clear coat, whoa, I was just cleaning that bad boy. Where is it at? Oh, it's right in front of me. This is the Iwata, uh, WS 4000, 400. Yeah, I was about to say 4000, 400, WS 400. This thing is a monster. I don't plan on changing, um, my clear coat gun is that, that's my cousin's as a matter of fact. Like I said, he's in and out of here every now and then. But other than that, I do have my DV1 DeVelbis clear coat gun. This is a really, it's a really good gun. It's definitely something to start off with if y'all want to. Um, I think prices, this is, I feel like I got ripped off on this one. <laughs> I bought this in store uh, off the shelf. This was like seven something, like 780. You could probably find it online for about 500 bucks. This one was 503. You can probably find it cheaper online. And then this one was about, <sighs> I think the last time I seen it in the store was like they range from seven hundred to a thousand dollars, so uh, it just depends. Then we got an Accu spray, two hundred bucks. Um, but yeah, you gotta start somewhere, so don't feel pressured into buying these expensive guns. But if you ask and if you're asking me, my setup, I love these two. They spray immaculate. This is the base, it's clear, and I'm and I'm cool. And honestly, I need to get a primer gun because I've been spraying primer with this gun. It's probably not recommended, but hell. It works fine whether I'm priming and priming or basing. It's, it's, it does the thing. So let's go ahead and get started, man. It's time to spray.
Hey, real quick before we go any further, I gotta say, this channel is about being organic, learning, and elevating, and vlogging every now and then, just to give y'all an update on what I got going on. But let's talk. We gotta go get some sealer. I'm I'm learning with y'all. I'm literally, I promise you, I I if I would have known it was gonna do that, I would have definitely, definitely sealed it a certain color. Um, this is why certain colors matter when it comes to base coat, your base coat, you, you, you know, um, you do got to have a base coat for certain colors. This is why this is yellow primer and this is gray primer. And then this is white primer over here. So we got three different things going on. If I would have known that, if I would have known that it wasn't certain colors, wasn't going to cover up, I would have, I knew that, but I didn't think it was going to be you know, an issue with this car because it's a green, it's a dark green. I feel like it'll cover over anything, but apparently it doesn't. It won't even color over the green that's on the car the way I want it to. So therefore we got to get a gray primer. This is, this is the gray primer and this is the color we aiming for right here. And y'all can see the, where the primer was, the primer spot. That's the color we aiming for because if I have it to where I can get this color with the original paint, but it it would just take way too long. It would take too many coats, and I'm only sitting on a gallon. And I'm gonna be real, that gallon was like six hundred something dollars. So I'll be damned if I have to go any more paint, go get any more paint. I do not want to do that. Um, so we're having issues with it covering up the original paint, that yellow primer, and even the white. Uh, I think the white. I would have to hammer it like two or three more times just to get it that color we're looking for. So, um, yeah, we got to go get some gray sealer. Um, so what I'll have to do is just kind of, uh, well, I mean, I, uh, shit, it's ready to spray. So I'll come in here and just shoot that uh, gray sealer on. Um, base coat, your, your, your base coat is, is very, very important. If the car was yellow, imagine that. Imagine that if you only, if your car was primed all yellow. Um, I like the yellow primer, but. I didn't know it was going. <laughs> this is going to be an issue. So, like I said, we are learning. Uh, we learning together. Um, feel free to drop those comments, man. So I got to run to the store, and I'm gonna just go ahead and seal this whole thing with gray. Um, let's let's. I mean, why why we at it? Let's check out. Um, let's check out the difference between this white and the and the gray primer. So got gray primer on this side. Check it up. All right, so. We got the gray and then we got the green. Now I feel like gray, gray, that gray is giving it. That's the color we aiming for. So. Let that dry up. All right, so, I mean, I get, I've, nah, gray, gray. I like the gray. I was gonna say, eh, the white, they almost they're almost the same, but I feel I feel more comfortable with the gray just because it's this is a bright, bright gray is like in between dark and bright. So uh dark and white. So uh well you guys get the concept. So yeah, man, I gotta go get some prime uh some sealers. So we'll be back and we'll jump right back into this video. Like I said, man, every day we learn, every day we elevate and learning something new. I just learned something new. So now when I spray a green car, even if you guys are getting ready to spray particular car this color um just know gray primer is probably the one to go with maybe even white but i just feel like i'd have to do an extra coat or two with the white versus the gray so man 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 let's go grab this primer uh i'm gonna probably these will be fine i'm gonna probably put it back on the shaker but i'm gonna go ahead and put a pause to this get my gun cleaned out and then go make this store run and we'll be back man could i pull it off could i pull it off i mean y'all see Y'all see how we looking? Maybe, maybe it'll take two more, three, three more coats. I don't know, but let's go get this uh, sealer. Let's get it. Finally got some sealer. We got two quarts. Uh, I'm not gonna hammer it with the sealer. Uh, it might be a little light. That's fine. It's just I'm using it for a base coat. I'm not using it to cover up imperfections or anything like that. You can, um, but in this case, we just need it for color. You can also, if you don't have sealer, man, you can really get away with just some light gray paint or even some white paint. And just slap it on top of the net. Let's get it.
All right, man, we got that sealer on, finally. It's got to flash out, dry out, um, and then we're going to apply some paint. But like I said, man, every day we learning. Um, I assume that that color would have covered all those Bondo spots and primered and sealed spots, but it didn't. So, uh, like I said, we learning, we know now, we can document that, like, hey, we need to make sure we seal this car before we use that color, um, depending on the what color the car already is. So um we learning we learning we learning man it is what it is hey look we got this far we got the sealer it's time to go ahead and load up this paint gun and start applying this uh green Right, man we got grind season over here uh next up pearl gotta lay some pearl now i'm gonna do it a little bit different normally i was laying pearl panel to panel but i got told by a few cats hey look when you lay pearl you it's like laying candy um so you go all the way down you just walk the whole car walk the whole car well i guess this was as far as i was supposed to get today um ain't no sense of rushing it um I don't have 
the orange pearl because I don't I don't I couldn't tell you exactly what the hell happened to it and I looked for it for at least two hours damn near two hours I bought some bottles of maybe I don't know I know I know I had orange pearl I know I had orange pearl man that's I'm sick these are all yellows like I think I must have either grabbed it and thought it was i don't i don't i don't even want to say that because i know i saw orange on it. it said orange but i know for a fact it said orange because i have i had orange but i'm i'm it is what it is man i ain't no sense to even um applying that negative energy towards the car so um i got the binder hopefully this is okay um it's one to one re with reducer i think it'll be fine um so yeah i'm gonna pretty much call it for this video um let's let's do a little rundown man look at that fat boy over there gosh what a lifesaver anyways um yeah man we got the colors dropped off uh let's go ahead and, um let's go ahead and take a look look at the man it's it's in there man it's in there um so yeah man it's my first candy project <laughs> well i've laid candy before not a whole car though so yeah i'm super super excited about that so that's the vinyl the rag top um this thing is it's got this big dent right here but that ain't nothing we can't handle i got a stud gun so we're gonna pull that bad boy out um other than that it's not hardly any it's not too much damage so um yeah that's that for this video like i said only thing now now um i might might be able to get away with it um depending on what time i decide to come out here uh oh decide what it, it just depends on the time i come out here and actually jump back on it um i won't have to scuff it paint still fresh i look it looks still look tacky so uh tacky as in texture <laughs> uh other than that it laid down really good it laid down the way i wanted it to um well, so on the mid coat we'll we'll walk the car and uh go from there so mid coat and spray them uh clear coat tomorrow i really was trying to be off but it's it's stuff like this man um, I don't know if everybody tech goes through this. Um, just like it, it's impossible to set your schedule. But at least for me, it is. I'll be like, yeah, man, I had your car for about a week. And then that shit take two weeks because my mess ups or areas that is kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? So or you might run across something new or you might run across a new dent. I didn't know this big dent was here. Went ahead and took care of that. That was a few hours that added more time to today. So because um, today was supposed to be coming in and spray. And then Pearl, like, come on now, that's an amateur mistake. Um, I was supposed to have that on deck and I and I ain't gonna lie, I mixed up my binder and everything. So I, I just knew that I had it. So unfortunately I didn't. So next video we'll drop, we'll, we'll post it. Um, we'll post it uh, with it glossed out. Like I said, this is going brandy wine. Super excited about this. It's two cutlasses, man. This is, this is shit that I ain't even dream about. I'm not gonna lie. I dreamed about having a shop and cars, but I didn't know it was going to go so smooth like this and go the way this way. So um, definitely, definitely praises to the most high. Um, staying humble, staying blessed, staying blessed. Uh, I'm going to uh, just continue to keep grinding, keep grinding. I don't know what I'm aiming for. Uh, sacrifices, 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 man. Long nights, early mornings. As a matter of fact, I stayed up till about 2 a.m. out here working, turned around and got up at 5 a.m. Uh, got up about 4 4. 414 so i only had two hours of sleep it is 458 right now it's 450 yeah 458 right now um so i'm running on two hours of sleep now i'm about to call it a night now my job my objective was today was to finish this clear it and then i was gonna be off tomorrow but look i can't even i can't even get an off day so um I'm just come out here early tomorrow morning it's about four o'clock go home get some sleep hop back up and uh jump back on it in the morning uh and well shit <laughs> i can't i gotta wait till about nine i guess all right so we're gonna sleep in tomorrow I'll wait till about nine o'clock so that store can open and i had to go buy some more orange pearl man it's unfortunate i was anxious to see this so yeah um let's let's uh yeah man let's wrap it up i'll show y'all the i'll show y'all the pain for that man like i said y'all just make sure y'all subscribe um other than that booth is running decent i have to unfortunately i have to cover up the tarp I mean, put a tarp over the car, plastic, both cars, uh, so that overspray can flow straight out the door. Plan on getting bigger fans, all that good stuff. Um, what else we got new going on? 
what else do we got? I got, oh, that's where the sodas is. I'm thirsty. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think that's really it, man. That's really it. Uh, my apologies, y'all, man. But I'd rather go ahead and post a part two just so I can keep y'all updated. Um, let y'all know what, what, you know, headaches go through in the shop. Um, it's still raining. I'm about to go ahead and call it. Uh, it's time to shut down the fort. Security cameras is rolling. They, uh -oh. they roll for about... Um, they roll 24 hours straight. They just roll, roll, roll and until some shit, <laughs> until some shit happens. So, um, Lord bless it, don't. But yeah, man, we out of here. Um, get some rest, and we're gonna jump back in the morning. Hopefully, post a video tomorrow, and uh, and then we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this the next video as well. Um, now the order is we're gonna jump on that. We're gonna finish that bad boy. And then after that, we're gonna attempt to put all of this <laughs> attempt, attempt to put it all together, and then so he can pick it up and we can get it out of the way. And um, uh, knock out that Camaro that's over there, and then we'll hop on this. And then, yeah, I think that'll be in the we'll be in the game. So I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We are out.